India blasted for religious discrimination at the United Nations. Recently, UN member states advised India to take a stronger stance on sexual violence and religious discrimination in during a universal periodic review, or UPR, of New Delhi's human rights record at the United Nations Human Rights Council, or UNHCR. The UPR, which is this periodic review, conducted every four years, evaluates member states' human rights record. Any member state may question the state being reviewed and offer suggestions. So this is like part of a routine thing that different member states have to go through on different years. Um, member states urged New Delhi to limit the scope of its anti-terror laws. A person can be labeled a, quote, terrorist based on a suspicion under these laws. American diplomat Michelle Taylor, the current United States ambassador to the United Nations Human Rights Council, said, quote, we recommend that India reduce the broad application of the Unlawful Activities Prevention Act, known as UAPA, and similar laws against human rights activists, journalists, and religious minorities. The law has drawn flack for targeting members of minority and rights group, minority and rights groups, and for having a low conviction rate. Many countries praised India for putting some of the recommendations made during the last UPR, which was held in 2017. However, others were quick to raise concerns as the stance on minority rights, freedom of expression, and violence against women has worsened. Canada asked India to investigate religious violence, including the case of, cases of the Muslim community, to protect the freedom of religion and stop sexual violence. The Secretary of For the Foreign Ministry of India, Sanjay Verma, said that the suggestions would be taken into taken to New Delhi for consideration. Although New Delhi has signed the United Nations Convention Against Torture Treaty, it still has not ratified it, which was another point of contention at the review session. Okay, let's take this positively. They took it like they were like, we considered it before and we made some changes and now we're going to consider this. So it's not like China who's like, how dare you speak about our ways, these foreign countries middling in our country. Mind your own business. Like this, like they didn't do the Chinese thing. They were like the CCP thing. Okay. They were like, okay, well, sure. We'll take it. We'll take there it. was a little we'll bit of defensiveness. There okay. was a little bit of defensiveness, but not nearly as much as I expected. Because yeah, like yeah. In that's in good. last April, the um, United States Commission on uh, International Religious Freedom, which is a bipartisan, um, non-policy making arm of the State Department, which monitors situations around the world, they put out a report that's very significant. And in it, they last April, they said that India is a country of very particular concern, which is kind of like their red level rating and had all these recommendations about how things are getting worse there, blah, blah, blah. And the Indian government had a very strong reaction to the findings of this report and was much more defensive, came out much more boldly. So I was actually surprised that like the reaction wasn't as strong in this situation I've, when the stakes are a lot higher. I don't, I don't really know why. Maybe not the stakes are higher, but the stage is bigger. I think there needs to be a congratulations, like a major, I think there's too much of a stick approach, okay? Um, when it comes to human rights violation and like pressure, there's not enough a carrot approach, you know what I mean? Like we hear like, oh, they were condemned, they were like pressured, they were like spoken against. We don't hear much about, they were congratulated. Uh, they were like encouraged, like we don't make it a big deal because people like bad news, right? So, like, I didn't hear about India previously taking these recommendations and doing something positive. We didn't hear about that because negative news sells, but it should have, like, people should have been like, there needs to be clapping, there needs to be like country, politicians noticing that there seems to be politi positive political capital in take you know making taking positive steps especially on human rights issues like they need to be like okay we're getting a lot of credit for doing something positive like the people seems to be you know uh, it seems to have been having a positive a positive effect so that you encourage them to do that more but i just i think we're we're quick to condemn but not that quick to congratulate you know what i mean so you i think like we should yeah point taken Point yes. taken. <laughs> yeah. You know what? You're right. Yes. 
<laughs> so let's let's congratulate India for taking this very well and taking it seriously and reconsidering it. Good job, India. Yeah. <laughs> slow clap. <laughs> No, this is yes, it's slow clap, but it's not a sarcastic clap. This is actually we're we're being genuine, right? Now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, good. So, so hopefully, hopefully they take a look at this and maybe they make some positive changes. Let's be here next time when they review all of these to see if they're actually to congratulate India if they make any good changes on any of these, mm -hmm. hey, even a single one of these. Yeah. All right. Um, learn from this. CCP, okay? You don't have to keep shouting at everybody who tells you that maybe you're doing something wrong. This whole Okay, wall. we hit a nerve with Oxymoron because I haven't heard him talk like this for a while. He's like, <laughs> different things. This was a review protocol India agreed to upon. <laughs> this was a review India agreed upon as part of UN protocol. It doesn't give a damn about inferior countries like the USA. <laughs> 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 Damn, oh my god got hurt <laughs> you got you hit a nerve oh my god jesus christ oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh okay my okay, bad man it. oh my okay, god sure. <laughs> all right it's, it's, it's okay yeah India is better than US, okay? Sure, you want to hear that? Okay, like let's let's give him something. It's not, by the way. He said yeah. it was a joke, but also true. I knew it. <laughs> yeah, it's a joke, yeah. but not really a joke. Not really, not really a joke. Um, okay, oxymoron really hates the US. Um, can we clap for the USA? By the way, for for. Uh, India is a better country because of the USA. Like none of these countries that you guys keep being proud of would have been able to do any of the thing it does if it wasn't the the standards and the norms and the stability the United States has introduced to the world has made your countries better. All the technology that India oh has and China has and Iran has is because of the the contribution that United States has made to the world. So you need to be more thankful to the United States. And it has a lot of its faults, but there's also that. I love when Can Armin starts his American hegemon shill talk. No I'm kidding. <laughs> I do that when to show when, for the liberal world order. <laughs> no, whenever somebody attacks the US, I remind them of all the US crimes committed by the USA. And but whenever somebody attacks the United States, I do the opposite. I remind them of all the great things that we are indebted to for the to the united states get my best selling book why there is no god for free click on the link for it in the description